Episode 3, Troll. This jerk. What is your problem, dude? But I know Thoris is not going down without a fight. Now nah, there's something else. This is gonna be the guy. I mean, I don't, don't judge a book by its cover, but. Maybe he doesn't even have what it takes. Everyone's so good at bargaining in this show. Everybody wants more gold, more use, ooze. You can tell he hates being here. Whoa. This guy's just a little bit too affable. I feel like this is a this is a trick. It might actually be deadly. This is like the most unmanly thing. That might be right. He just doesn't have it in him. I mean, he has a skill, but maybe not the heart. He's got a very different management style from Half Dan. Ooh. Ooh, what the heck? Yeah, I, I knew it. Who is this guy exactly? I knew there was more to it than that. Though Thor's might suspect something is up. Good for you. She's so over it. Aww, little Ari. <laughs> At least the mother in law seems cool. <laughs> Mom, you're embarrassing me in front of my future girlfriend, wife. If love is war, he just lost. Oh, and how many are there going to be today? How many? <laughs> you gotta, you gotta make a gesture. Have you thought of balloons? Maybe do they have balloons in Viking Land? Do not wash on Saturdays. Do not wash on Saturdays. That's a terrible idea. So much hubris. Thoris is just picking who he likes the least. <laughs> He's like, none of you are coming back. He's keeping it light for a reason. Yes. And it's not glory of war. Maybe just, you know, come back first. Then you can think about that stuff. I guess it's something to look forward to. Something to fight for. Hey, you got a backup! If you, your viewer doesn't work out. No. Stop. I'm single. <laughs> oh. Wow. What a softy. What a kind soul. Yeah, I feel like he knows this is a, a death mission. And it might not just be because they're going off to war. Yeah, there's no doubt. Oh no, we need this. Please come out. We need ah, we need it like a last good moment, father-son moment. Thoris has already accepted his fate. He's the king of kings, but he'll put himself below the the lowest of men. That is a gigantic or. <laughs> he has the strength of five men. Oh, he'll really regret this if he doesn't show up. Please show up. <laughs> wow, great job, Helga. Just read in between the lines. Just leave it all in Helga's carrying shoulders. <laughs> That's so great. Bring back trophies. Oh man, is... oh man, that just hurts that Thorgan wasn't there. <gasps> That's where he is. Oh no, oh no. I have such mixed feelings about this. Well, they're planning on dropping them off anyway. He might actually just make this voyage. He might be good to go for now. God, I have so many mixed feelings though, because on the one hand, at least it's not over. The, the relationship can continue for, for some time. But on the other hand, I feel like this sets him up to witness some really horrible things. Man, he really answered the call of destiny. <laughs> what do you even, how do you even react to this? 
on the one hand, you would, yeah, exactly, you admire it. You admire the spirit. On the other hand, you put himself in danger. There's a lot that's suspicious about this on all sides. He's playing his own game, maybe. He's got to distance himself from it. I mean, if the objective is winning the war, who, who cares about Thor? You just want him on your side, right? Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> He's holding back. In before, I'm having so much fun. I'm having so much fun <laughs> in the middle of battle. Totally worth the spanking. I have a feeling this ends with Thorfinn on Leaf's boat. Leaf is the man. I don't know why everyone sleeps on him. Ooh, what does that mean? He would take no glory in that at all. <laughs> oh, he sent that out real quick. That's so weird. That's also my type. Probably also Yuji and Gojo's type when I think of it. She's tall. I don't, I don't know. I haven't really seen her ass. <laughs> Oh, he was really in, huh? He really bought the party line, I guess. I wonder where it all started to change. At some point, he started seeing other people's humanity. It might have even been having a kid. Thinking about it some more now, the horrors of war are pretty easy to imagine, but it's not that the English side is terrible and then the Vikings are just great. They're probably very similar. He's probably done some really atrocious things beyond just normal warfare, or at least witnessed it. This is not the same person. Trying to ask him to care. It's so great that this is the story he tells, too. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. Yeah, okay. So the baby we saw in the first scene in that dream sequence was his daughter. I mean, he's planning on fighting in the war, probably. Everybody wants the glory, but no one wants to do the, the mundane work that it takes. It's a little narrow, huh? This would be a great place for an ambush. No people on the shores. A little quiet. Ooh, what the heck? I don't, I don't, I don't think that's it, Leaf. Think harder, Leaf. Oh man, what do you even do? You just help us in this situation. Right for, for Thorfinn. It's always someone throwing a chair. Maybe we all end up on Leaf's boat. He just has too much to lose right now. There's no way. There's no way. And there's no diplomacy here at all. No. Uh, but I don't know, you're kind of putting Thor's back against the wall here. Eesh. <laughs> He's so going for the sword. He just looks so done. He looks so done. I think we're about to get an exhibition. <laughs> oh, there we go with the mushrooms. How does this guy think mushrooms work? You just eat one and you're good to go. It takes a little bit of time. I don't think you can just eat it and then rampage. You should have eaten this like way in advance. You're gonna find out right now. You might want to swallow that mushroom. This guy brought his full bear suit for the occasion. He's not even using his sword. Is he trying to avoid killing? Is that what's going on? Living up to the reputation. No, that's the end of the episode? Oh my god. 
What a cliffhanger. It's such a bizarre situation where so many things could happen because on the one hand, I think we've kind of established the order of his priorities and his first priority is going to be saving his his son and his men. But it seems like he's he's committed to this non-killing thing. Was he planning on going to war and just punching people out on the battlefield? I mean, he's probably fine with his own death, so it's not inconceivable to think that. But I don't think he's going to be able to get away with this for the whole fight. Ask Lad seeming very confident, just enjoying the show. Will he be able to hold to his ideals? And will it be his ideals that actually get him killed? I really hope not. I like. I'm pretty convinced that he's not going to last, but I just love his character so much and I love the dynamic with him and Thorfinn and the men. I don't want this to be it, especially this, this rogue group of pirates. But man, this episode really launched the, the journey. We were like out, we were in it, in the ocean, in the, the battle, and on the way to the war.